Today I have another favourites video for you and normally I did this on the last week of the month but it's been a little bit over a week since April started so I apologise for the delay. But anyway, here I am and I've got all of my products here in front of me. Let's start with lipstick which is one of my favourite makeup things to talk about and this month I have been obsessed with the Soap & Glory Super Colour Fabi Lipstick in Super Nude which is this sort of muted rose um, nudie shade and I absolutely love it. I've spoken so much about it here on my channel and also on my blog so I'll leave any relevant links below but this is one of my favourite lipsticks of all time whenever I don't know what to wear I always reach for this because it's just such a natural looking shade. I've got it on today and uh, I always reach out for it. It's just so so nice. It's moisturising, it is completely matte and it's very very long lasting on the lips. I struggle to find matte lipsticks that are long lasting and not drying on my lips but this one is uh, amazing. I've got no bad words to say about this. I always recommend this to anyone that asks my recommendations for nude lipsticks for people with sort of like medium olive skin tones like me. This was a big hit this month. And whilst on the subject of lip products, I've got another one here and this is the Lana Lips 101 Ointment Multipurpose Balm. My lips have been so, so, so dry and the only thing that saves my lips when they are like that is this little lip balm here. It says here, use it on uh, dry, chapped lips, extremely dry skin patches, cuticles, dry nasal passages and more. So you could pretty much use this anywhere that you have any dry patches on your body and I absolutely love this. It stays on your lips pretty much for as long as you leave it on and I normally find that if I put this on before I go to bed at night when I wake up my lips still feel like they've got something on them so it lasts pretty well. It is very very thick, I've got completely sticky hands now so if you don't like a thick balm you're not going to like this but it is an intensive treatment so if you need to rescue your lips or your skin from the dryness this is it. Now talking about nails, some of you have picked up on the fact that I've been wearing the same nail varnish on all of my recent videos and my recent blog posts and it's always been the Rimmel 60 Seconds uh, in Caramel Cupcake and I have spoken so much about the Rimmel 60 Seconds range and how much I love it. It, it just dries so quickly, so easy to apply, it's very thick and opaque and it lasts for a really long time. I will not bore you with the details but this shade is just perfect. I think it's the perfect well manicured kind of shade when you know you just want to look as though you've made a lot of effort but you haven't actually done anything too grand. I haven't got it on today because over the past two days my nails have just been so weak and they've been breaking a lot so I decided to just put on one coat of my OPI Nail Envy and just give my nails a little bit of a treatment before I go over with nail varnish again but this has been on my nails pretty much for the whole of March apart from the last two days. Another product that has made an appearance in my makeup this month has been the Manuka Doctor CC Cream SPF 20. I have done a blog post on this which I'll leave linked down below if you want to read it and on that blog post I I do sort of like an in-depth review with before and after, after pictures for you to see what it looks like on the, on the screen, I was going to say on the screen, on the skin. The blog post is a little bit sort of like on the fence because at the time that I tried this I thought it was okay but it didn't wow me, it didn't do anything amazing. But I don't know what made me want to decide to try this again and I have been really enjoying this. I normally use this before foundation. My makeup just looks so perfected and just everything just comes together really nicely. I can't pinpoint what it is that it does that makes my makeup look nicer but it does and it photographs much better than if I don't have this on. I've got it on today. Pretty much everything that I'm talking about here I've got on me today because that's the best way to demonstrate when you're talking about a product. So I've got this underneath my foundation today. It is tinted but it's very lightly tinted and when I first tried this I thought surely this is not going to suit me because it's going to be too light for me. But when you blend it into the skin it disappears into the skin very quickly and it doesn't leave sort of like a, a light tint to the skin at all. It's just sort of like a glowy 
finish and it just sort of nourishes the skin really nicely and makes everything look more refined and just a little bit more I don't know perfected the foundation that I've used the most this month is the Chanel Vitalumier Aqua and I've had this particular tube for over two years and I haven't finished it and that's because of Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk because when I discovered Luminous Silk I didn't want to try any other foundations I just wanted Luminous Silk but currently Luminous Silk doesn't suit my skin tone it is one shade too dark for me so I've had to branch out in my foundation drawer and find something that suits me and I found this. This was quickly forgotten when I found Luminous Silk but now that I've been using it for about a month I immediately remembered why I loved it so much and how it makes my skin look really nice and natural and glowy and it's just beautiful. I've got it on today as well and uh, yeah I just really really like this. It's so natural. Um, it's more natural looking than Luminous Silk but it is less coverage and not as quite perfecting as Luminous Silk but I like this about this foundation because it doesn't look as made up. My shade is B40 and it is a good colour match for me but it's just not quite there. There's something about it that makes it look like you know it could be a little bit more beige and a little bit less whatever it is I can't figure out what it is and I definitely need to go and get another tube of this because this is almost finished still on the topic of makeup based products I've got something very exciting to introduce to you and it's the Becca bronzing skin perfector this is basically a liquid bronzer which you could use mixed with your foundation to give you a nice overall glow or you could use to contour the hollows of your cheeks which is what I've been preferring to do. I don't think my contour has ever looked as perfected as it looks with this. It's just incredible. I have a full review on my blog so I'll leave the link down below for you to check it out. When I swatched this at first I thought this is definitely going to be too dark for me but then when you blend it it just blends in so nicely and just so seamlessly into the skin that it looks as though you've got that area of your face naturally darker as if you've got a natural contour. I'm wearing it today, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got it here on my on the hollows of my cheeks and I absolutely love this. I think it just looks so natural and especially during summer this will be really really beautiful for a nice summer glow. If you're wondering whether or not this will suit your skin tone, I'm currently a little bit lighter than usual so I'm light medium now but normally I'm a medium olive. So if you're around that sort of skin tone range, then you'll be fine. If you're lighter than a light medium, then you might get away with it if you're very light-handed. But if you're very fair, this will probably be too dark for you, which is unfortunate because this is just so beautiful. I wish everyone could suit this because I absolutely love it. An eyeshadow favourite this month has been my Urban Decay Naked Basics. It has loads of matte eyeshadows. The only problem I have with it, and it is a big problem that's making me so angry, is the fact that it's so difficult to open. Even if I try now, I won't be able to open it. Honestly, it is ridiculous. Oh, apart from that, the colours are beautiful and they apply beautifully. I've been enjoying using Foxy and Naked 2 together on my eyelids and it's very natural looking, nothing too fancy, just enough to make you feel as though you have actually done something. So I have been loving the Naked Basics palette but I have to admit that I've been leaving it slightly open just because I can't be bothered to faff around with trying to open this box. So yeah, that's my only quibble with this product is the packaging. Another favourite from my Felinique haul has been the Pixi Endless Silky Pen in the shade Black Cocoa and this is just so soft and just smooth and it glides on the eyes. I've got this on my top lash line and on my bottom lash line and it's just really nice. On my last video I mentioned that I didn't know if this was going to be long lasting and it is very long lasting so that gets a big thumbs up from me. And the colour is so beautiful, it's like the best alternative for black eyeliner and it just looks really pretty. Now onto the more random favourites. The first random favourite is the toothpaste. And this requires a little bit of background information. If you watched my previous favourite video, which was my February favourites, you will have seen me talk about a toothpaste from Colgate, which was the Colgate, I think it was Max One, one Shade Whiter in one week. And I still absolutely love that toothpaste, but I think I probably overdid it and I think I probably used it too much too often. And this month I've just had the most sensitive teeth ever, ever, ever. They have been so 
painful. So I decided to go and buy a toothpaste that would at least, you know, relieve a little bit of the pain on my teeth. And it started off with just the front two teeth at the top, really sensitive. And I thought maybe it's because I'm very clumsy when I'm drinking tea and I always hit my cup on my teeth. Um, but then it moved on to a couple of other teeth on sort of like the sides and then the bottom front. So I decided to invest in a good toothpaste for um, sensitive teeth. So I bought the Sensodyne Rapid Relief and Long Lasting Protection Toothpaste clinically proven to relieve the pain of sensitive teeth, which is exactly what I needed. And I've included this on my favorites because it has made a very lasting impression. Even though I only bought this two days ago, for the two days that I've used this, I haven't felt any pain at all. If any of you out there have sensitive teeth, you know how painful it can be and how uncomfortable it is to have, you know, your teeth aching all the time, regardless of whether or not you're drinking anything hot or cold. It just hurts a lot. I never thought I would have problems with sensitive teeth, but I guess I kind of brought it up on myself by using a whitening toothpaste for a long time. So even though I said on my last video that I had never had sensitivity with that whitening toothpaste, um, clearly I spoke too soon. So if you're using that toothpaste, don't use it too often so you don't have to go through what I went through. So this toothpaste is really nice and it has really sorted out my toothache for the moment. And if it comes back or if it gets any worse, I will definitely go to a dentist. My last two favourites for this month are meals and I know they're not the healthiest of meals but they are so yummy and this one here is from Tesco and it's the Tesco finest king prawn spaghetti. It's just so 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 tasty and it's just ordinary spaghetti with prawns and if you like spaghetti and you like prawns you will like this. And this is a meal for one I believe and you put this in the microwave for four minutes and it's ready to go. So it's a great meal if you're like a busy mum or if you just don't wanna fuss around with cooking for too long. The second meal is the complete opposite of the spaghetti meal and it takes about an hour and a half to cook, but it's totally, totally worth it if you like pork. This is from Waitrose and it's the slow cooked pork belly and this is a meal for two. And oh my god, me and my husband have just loved having this. It has the lovely crackling on top and if you leave it for a little bit longer than an hour and a half, it will get very crispy and so tasty. So if you like pork, I recommend checking out the Waitrose Rose Slow Cooked Pork Belly. It has been a favourite in my household. The last favourite is something that I don't actually own but that I really really wanted this month. I've seen it on so many Instagrams. I'll insert a picture now. It's a Chanel uh, perfume bottle iPhone case with the strap and I have just fallen in love with that case. I think it's just the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen and I want it so desperately. But the reason why I've included it as a favourite is because I have loved it this month but I haven't actually found a trustworthy seller to buy it from. So if you've bought this case from a seller on eBay or Etsy or anything like that, please let me know who you bought it from and if it was a good experience, let me know so I can buy it as well. I've seen plenty of people selling it online, but there's not enough information for me to go ahead and buy it. I only buy stuff from eBay when I'm 100% sure that the seller is trustworthy and I've never bought anything from Etsy. So I'm just basically asking you guys to tell me that it's okay to buy from someone that you trust. So if you have that information to give to me, I will be very grateful and I am dying to buy that case. It is just, it looks so beautiful and I'm a sucker for anything pretty Chanel-like. Yeah, so a little bit of a weird favourite, but a very pretty one. So that's everything that I had for the month of March. I hope you've all had a lovely March and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what was your favourite thing out of my favourites. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!